Hi folks, and welcome back. I got a video for you today that I uh, hope you'll find interesting. I've been uh, playing around with my body's electricity now for almost a week, and uh, I've learned quite a, quite a few things. Uh, one of the things that I learned was uh, that I was wrong in the last video, and you don't even need the magnets to, uh, to boost your body's voltage or your amperage. And uh, so I'm going to demonstrate that for you here right off the bat. What I've got is a piece of copper tape with the meter hooked up to it. And this side I've got a little steel washer here uh, hooked up to it. And you can see that I'm, the voltage is climbing and it's at uh, 0.49 or half a volt. Which is, if it gets to 0.7, it's 10 times the body's normal voltage. And you can see that it's it's charging my body up really, because uh, we're these are we're just working with uh, current collectors. If that's all 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 this is really. It's uh, my body that's uh, acting like the capacitor and storing the uh, storing the energy. So looks like we're going to hang right there at uh, one at 0.55. Okay, now I'm going to short this. I'm going to short this, uh, short my body out here. Well, hell, yeah. I'll have to do it like this. I'm going to short my body out and uh, see what kind of, you know, amps are over here. We're on the uh, microamp scale. Ready? Here we go. So we got 1.7 uh, microamps. One wants to climb. And you, you notice this one does the same thing as the, your body does. Or the biocell does, you know. It'll it'll drop down to that low voltage, and then it'll it'll have some amps, and the amps will actually slowly climb up. See it climbing? So it's behaving exactly the same as the the biocell does. And you know, of course, I've been saying for a long time that it's an organic reactions and stuff going on in that. Okay, uh, so now let's. I want to switch and show you something else. This will make it easier for me to measure too. Now this is a a, uh, a coil of wire that I made. Okay, and I'm and the surface area difference between this coil and the surface area I had here is a lot smaller. You know, but you're going to see that that surface, it's the the fact that it's in a coil shape now, is going to make a big difference. Yeah, yeah, hook here, and I'll hook up the terminals here. Okay, so now we've got a coil in our in our electric system, and you can see that we're now. You can see if I we're at uh, 0.33 uh, volts. Now, if I increase the surface area on it, you see the voltage go up more surface area and it also the amps go up when you do that too but it's hard for me to show you that so so now we're we're going to go we're back at uh, 0.5 volts and it'll stop again at the 0.55 again and we'll short it out and you're going to be able to see that see what kind of amps we get on it now ready yeah, we're not up to 5.5, five, but close enough. It's because I have to hold this thing. Alright, can you see that? Alright, here we go. We're going to short that out. We're about almost 5. Alright, look at there. Now we're at 2.8 uh, microamps. See that? And it's still holding and also holding at a higher voltage, too. And that's simply because we're in a coil. Okay, now. Uh, now let's switch from our little tiny piece of uh, steel washer to a bigger, to something bigger. Let's use a piece of zinc here. Okay. And we'll hook this up. This will make it easier to measure too. Now it will be a whole lot more 
surface area involved here whenever I put my hands on it uh, than there is on this little tiny ring but you'll see that it won't get it that much uh, higher uh, uh, amps out of it because it's again this is in the shape of a ring it's like one shape of a coil okay so now we're going to we'll hook up here and you can see we're climbing back up to our half of voltage again Actually, this goes a little higher too because this is zinc. But we'll test it about the same. All right, so we're here at about 0 0.55, 0 0.54. All right, here's our amp. Three, two, one. See, look at there. 2.1, 2.2. We had 2.7 out of that little tiny ring right here. Less surface area, ring shape. Okay, gives you a whole new perspective on uh, jewelry, doesn't it? Why, you know, every culture in human history has had a, uh, used jewelry, you know. And look at the ancient Egyptians, uh, their jewelry and stuff. Uh, from what I can see, gather from this experiment right here, you know, if you're smart and you're wearing jewelry, you'll wear jewelry of two different metals and boost your body's uh, electricity and keep your health up. Maybe that's why the uh, people wear jewelry. But they just, we've, we've lost the, uh, we've lost the meaning of what was behind the jewelry. Alright, so now, let's switch to a piece of magnesium and hook it up. Okay. And now, look here, we got, we're over a volt and climbing. So you can see that that's way, I mean, we're like uh, 20 times normal voltage, something like that. Whoops, I almost knocked that off. Alright, so it's easy to get a volt out of out of magnesium. Now let's see what our amps are out of that. And let's get it back up to a volt. About. There we are, okay. Now let's short it out. And look at there. Now we got 5.8 milliamps. 5.9. 6. Look at that. See it's climbing? See how remember the climbing behavior of the of the biocell when we're during the testing same thing exactly the same thing okay now you can add, add a little water to this <laughs> I like to lick my fingers and let me lick that one too a little bit okay and look at there look at our voltage now now we're at 1.2829 volts. All right, now let's see what our amps are. Look at there. Wait. Look at there. There's 10, 10 microamps. Okay, just like a battery, just made better contact is all right there. All right. So, uh, oh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Okay. Now I've switched to uh, some carbon weave. Uh, here, so I'll show you what happens when you use carbon, which does work. Okay, so I'll uh, set up here. Got a piece of whoops. We're still on magnesium for the for the bottom. Okay, and we're going to touch carbon weave, and you can see our voltage there. Uh, the the uh, copper around the uh, edge there is just as a current collector so I can hook the, keep it from fraying and hook up the electrodes. So now you see with the, with the carbon and the magnesium, which had our, which was the highest 
when we used the uh, copper, but it is now only uh, 0.7 volts. So, all right. So let's short it out and see what we get now on our uh, on our amps. And you can see that it's only 1.3, 1.45. It's climbing. So 1.5 uh, microamps on the carbon. But I mean, carbon does work though. And uh, so uh, <coughs> basically, uh, surface area is is important on this. And uh, a coil shape is also important. And you could use a combination of the two, like you could make a, a shirt out of uh, carbon felt or something like that, or uh, you know, and, and use that, or you could um, make a, a shirt out of uh, some other uh, uh, fabric, conductive fabric, and probably use it, and uh, and then uh, then uh, put the zinc uh, on your rings, or use two rings. Uh, Copper and zinc, and or copper and steel, or or gold and and magnesium would be a great combination. Okay, um, I think that's it uh, for this video. Uh, next video, I'm going to get back into the magnets because uh, they come into this too, and uh, and then you know, I'll show you what I've learned by the next time. I don't know when that'll be. I'll have to do some experiments, and I can't. It takes too much time to do every experiment film every one so I'm, I'm just going to uh, show you the uh, what what I learned when I once I learn something all right I'll be back thanks for watching